So I'm sitting here about to edit yesterday's vlog and I realized that I never made an intro for it. I literally just started recording me trying to feed the cat. So, hey crew, what it do? It's your girl, Adrew, and you guys are watching my YouTube channel. So yeah, um, enjoy today's vlog because I literally hard have hardly any footage, so it's just me and the cat. So I wanted to try and show you what it was like when I feed her because she's still so tiny. Um, so she has to be bottle fed. You gotta warm the bottle up. Sorry it's such a weird angle. She basically just drinks like a little bit at a time and then knocks out and is up again like 30-40 minutes later for more. Alright, so she took a break from eating. So she's just gonna chill in her warm fuzzy blanket I'm trying to get a shot of it for you it's already 7.03 at night on Sunday so I got her last night around 11 p.m. and she was a handful to say the least um, I love every minute of it though she is so sweet and precious and small that you just can't help like want to take care of her but she ate at 11 p.m. and then 1 a.m. and then 3 a.m. and then 4.30 and then 5.30 and then 6.30 and then from then on like 7, 7.30, 8, 8.30 till about 9 then it went back to like 10.30 so I was up all night with her um so yeah i'm exhausted today so i didn't even like really get up get up like stopped trying to get any sleep till about 3 p.m and that was a really late start for me and um Alyssa's actually gonna come back and get her tonight and then i'm gonna take her again in a few days all right guys so it's now kind of like nearing nighttime so I'm going to get the kitten's bottle ready for all of her night feeds because uh, she usually, last night, I don't remember if I said it, but I think I did, that she was up like nearly every 30 minutes to an hour. Sometimes I'd get lucky and it'd be two hours, but she was up a lot. So I usually make her one bottle for the day, one bottle for night. Um, but I thought I would do a little story time while I made the bottle because I've gotten two requests to do more story times. Shout out to Alyssa and Erica. And I thought it would be more fun than just like showing you how I make her bottle. So basically, this is where the story starts. My best friend Alyssa had been feeding this stray cat that was in her neighborhood for a little while now. I want to say a couple months, but I don't know for sure. Um, and she has a porch in front of her house and so on the porch she had like this box and it would have like a blanket in it or a towel maybe and like food and water and so the cat just kind of like hung out there i guess and would eat and basically one night i don't know if Alyssa heard her out there and thought something was wrong or just went out there to see her or just happened to be passing by. I didn't actually ask her what happened. Maybe Alyssa can comment down below <laughs> what happened. But uh, she said that she saw the baby like come out of her. So the cat obviously kind of went in the box to give birth. Um, Alyssa also said that they found another kitten in like the neighbor's yard. The water's hot. It had, it had already like passed. We weren't able to save that one. But she said that immediately, you know, after the kitten that I have was born, the mom just rejected it. Like, she wanted nothing to do with it. She wouldn't feed her. She wouldn't, um, like, keep her warm. She just would hiss at her. Uh, yeah, she just basically wanted nothing to do with her. So Alyssa brought them both inside and was, like, feeding them, 
you know, thinking like maybe the mom didn't have enough strength to take care of the baby or whatever it may be. And this was like really late or early in the morning, depending on how you want to look at it, like maybe 2, 3 a.m. that I was talking to her about the kitten and was only like two, three hours old at the time. Uh, now I'm just going to mix her formula in the water. Well, that morning when they woke up, uh, they took the kitten to the vet and the vet basically just told them how to take care of it if the mom, you know, continued to reject it. Sorry, I'm looking down because I'm looking at the mixture, so sorry if it's hard to hear me. But basically, uh, you know, they just said you have to bottle feed her, keep her warm kind of thing. And uh, they, the vet told them how to continue to try and get the mom to take the baby. You know, like if the mom came back around to leave the baby outside for a little bit and see if she would take her. And she just never did. And I know Eddie, Alyssa's husband, um, even tried to like give the baby to the cat. And they said that she, she hissed at it really bad and just didn't want anything to do with it. So they were like, okay, well, guess, guess the kitten's ours. So shout out to Eddie and Alyssa for like sacrificing their sleep and their time for those 40, first 48 or 72 hours, I don't really know how long it was, uh, where they took care of the baby and they fed her. Um, but I love cats and I've always been a cat person and Alyssa has a little two year old daughter, Wichalia, and she's a dog and both Wichalia and Momo, that's their dog, loved the baby kitten. Um, but the baby kitten is really hard to take care of and so uh, she texted me like on day two I think and was like, hi friend, I'm just here to vent. Like the kitten was up every like half hour to eat. And like, I'm so exhausted, I didn't get any sleep, and she's like, neither did Eddie, and it was really hard, and I was like, well, like, I wish I was there to help, because you know, we're social distancing, so I am not really supposed to be around her, or the baby, and so, you know, it's not like I could just run over there and help, and so I jokingly said, well, it wasn't a joke, because I was dead serious, but I said it in a funny way, I was like, leave the kitten on the porch, and her supplies, like, I'll come get her. Um, so that way we don't have to break the six foot rule and she was like, do you know like if you could take her for a night just so I could get a break That would be great. So bringing us to honestly just a few hours ago um, You guys know I had kind of a rough night with her last night Because she was up every half hour and I was like a zombie just like Alyssa said like I was dead tired um, the kitten would just not sleep for very long and I don't know about you guys, but I take forever to fall asleep. It takes me like an hour or two. <laughs> so the fact that she was up every 30 minutes meant that I was not sleeping. And so, um, by the way, you have to take like this little eyedropper and like take the stuff out of the bowl and put it in the bottle because the bowl's too big to just pour it in the bottle. But um, basically, uh, yeah, Alyssa and I were trying to decide like when she would come back and get the kitten, like if I was gonna keep her one more day or if I was going to just give her back that night. And I, we originally decided that she would come get her tonight because I kind of had a big day filming wise tomorrow, you know, like I had a lot, I have a lot of plans for it. Uh, but that was around like 3 p.m. when we decided that maybe. And then, you know, the kitten, I don't know, like, it just got kind of easier throughout the day, and I was like, okay, like, this isn't so bad, like, maybe I can do it, and then, like, the kitten and I just started cuddling a lot more, and we started bonding, I guess you could say, and Alyssa texted me around, like, 8, 8.30, and was like, hey, friend, like, we're on our way to get our kitten, and I cried so hard. I was just bawling in my bed. I was like, no, I'm not prepared. And she was like, I'm sorry, like, we're done running errands. Like, I don't want to go out again. And, um, you know, she's like, I should have texted you sooner. Um, and I was like, don't hate me, but can I just go ahead and keep her for tonight? And she was like, yeah, no, that's fine. And I was like, I was like, I was able to take a nap. So it's a lot, it was a lot easier. Or I feel a lot better now. And so, um, then my mom came in and she saw that I was crying. <laughs> And I was like, I don't want to give her back. Like, I want to take care of her, you know. And my mom was like, I knew this was going to happen. Like, you're getting all attached and the kitten's attached to you. And she was like, fine. She's like, tell Alyssa you can keep the cat. 
And because Alyssa had mentioned to me the night that she dropped the kitten off, like, you know, do you know anyone who would want her long term? Because I don't think that, you know, like it would be a good idea for us to keep her long term. She's like, obviously we will if we can't find her a home, but like, I'd like to find her a home. And I was like, Psh, me, I want her. But, you know, you guys heard my reserves. Like, I didn't think my mom would let me, and I have Simba to worry about. But Simba, obvious, honestly, is not bothered by her at all. And I was so nervous to text Alyssa because I was like, you know, she had said, like, oh, now that I have, like, I was able to get a break and sleep. Like, I'm good now. I was like, oh, like, what if she changed her mind? What if she wants the cat back? You know, like, what if she wants to raise her? And now I'm so attached to her. Like, what am I going to do? You know, like, I can't cat nap her. Like, it's her cat. <laughs> So like I have to give her back if that's what she wants and I was like mm, I'm so nervous but yeah I texted Alyssa and I was like hi friend so if you were serious you know about like not wanting to keep her long term and you were still looking for someone to do it like can I just go ahead and keep her you know my mom said it was okay and Simba's fine with her and I just really want to be the one to like raise her and keep her and Alyssa was like yes friend like of course you can have her she was like She's like, it makes me kind of sad, like, I still want to come, like, see her and say goodbye and all this stuff. And, like, I was like, dude, you can come see her anytime. Like, that's the cool thing about one of us keeping her, is that we can see her anytime. You know? Exciting news, guys. She's officially my cat. We're going to keep her. We're going to raise her. We're going to love her. We still need to name her, though. So that's next on the agenda. Um, but that's probably going to be it for tonight's vlog. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Start thinking of cat names. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are going to like this cat journey that we're going on. I have never raised a kitten this small, so I don't really know that I know what I'm doing, but we're going to give it our best shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this video, subscribe if you haven't. It would mean so much to me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good, safe quarantine. <laughs> Adrew, out.